Hello and welcome to this follow-up video on the rarity game. Now, this is really amazing. The fact that Andre, Andre Crunch, <laughs> created this game just for fun and it has blown up like really, really like I mean a lot of people have started playing this game and it's everyone is wondering, okay, is this going to be the next biggest NFT game or are we just here to play and have fun? Now when he first launched the game on Sunday about I think four days ago the only parts or the only way to play the game was through these contracts this was what was launched on the FTM scan where he posted the contract in the medium post he made and then I did a video on that how to play the game using the contract how to summon characters and how to you know adventure and earn exp but now he made it an open you know, he made the code open source so people could work on the code and further make improvements as well. So what a lot of people have now done is they built a user interface, a UI. So instead of just coming all the way here and playing around the contract, for many people that might not really know how to, you know, write contracts, how to summon adventure and all of that. So people have been able to build on top of this code a user interface that you can easily interact with now i will just show you all the user interfaces i actually use um there are about four i use i use this and this and this and this now i'll make the links available in the description of this video so that you can easily visit them so let's say you are just starting off for the very first time yeah and you are just seeing this video the first thing you have to do is you have to set up your ftm network for ftm network on your metamask wallet so you go over to metamask you go to settings and you go to networks you add network and then you enter these parameters you know this particular one shown on the screen now you have to do that now the next thing you now do is you have to credit your wallet with ftm sent through the ftm network so it appears here as ftm on the ftm chain that's the phantom chain so now once you're done with this, you have enough gas fee to play the game. All you have to pay is gas fee. Except, let's say you want to use the daycare, which I'll explain later on in this video. Now, now that you have the gas fee, you can be able to summon, you can adventure, you can, you know, do everything you need to do on this game. And according to Andre, on his first post, the first video post he made when he talked about the game, he said that you can use 5 to 10 FTM. For as long as you know a couple of months so you don't really need a whole lot of ftm to actually play the game it's quite affordable as it were and you won't really need to be spending a whole lot of money just negligible fees here and there and you're good to go yeah you're, you're like really really good to go so i know some people might have issues withdrawing ftm from binance because binance has disabled withdrawals on the ftm network so what you have to do is you have to use a token bridge I would work on a follow-up video to show you how to use a token bridge so in case you're having issues withdrawing from Binance you can just um, withdraw using a token bridge now moving on another thing he said in this write-up is you know once you summon your cards you would have to adventure and earn exp every day so you're earning 250 exp per day and once you have earned the required amount of exp to advance a level you level up now all of this is supposed to be done through this contract here you summon you know a character from 1 to 11 you know the character the char different characters he gave us here you know from 1 to 11 wizard barbarian and all of that but using the ui using the user interface which is a whole lot easier i'll just show you how you can go about that now here we have rarity game rarity dot game let me just go to the main page so rarity dot game so once you come up to this page, you would connect your wallet at the left here. And once you are done connecting your wallet, sorry, is this left or right? I'm never sure again. And once you're done connecting your wallet, you would now be able to play. And, you know, so instead of having to go through this code base that might be really, really confusing, you just use the user interface. So this is the first UI I'll be reviewing. Now, once you connect your wallet, for a new user, after you've set up your FTM, you know wallet your ftm network on metamask and you've credited it with ftm the next thing you want to do would be to summon a card or summon a player or summon a character 
so there are 11 characters now if you click on random it just helps you to randomly summon any character at all we don't know who it's going to summon it's just going to summon, summon a random character but if you want to summon a barbarian you can click on barbarian or if you want to summon a bard click on bard so you can summon any character of your choice many people have asked questions like um, how many characters can you summon per day or what character are you supposed to summon or is there a maximum amount of characters you can summon now you can summon as many as 1 million characters per day if you can <laughs> and if you want to the second thing is uh, you there are no specific character summoning patterns so you can decide to summon just barbarians or just bards or one of each character which was what i did i just summoned one of each character i mean in case anything happens i just want to have one of every player and you know the final qu question someone asked is okay is there a limit to the characters that can ever be summoned no there is no limit so meaning people can keep summoning as many characters as they want to in fact in andre's post he retweeted something that someone said nine hours ago over one million summoners in a game that was just invented four days ago so people are really really actively playing this game a lot of people are on board and that's why i had to do this video to just guide you so you don't find it difficult to get you know find your way around and understanding what to do so using this ui rarity.game connecting your wallet the first thing you will do is to summon a character or characters now the next thing you want to do after summoning these characters is to go over to adventures so once you head over to adventures this is how you level up for this particular page you know for different uis they you interact differently for this particular page let's say i have a barbarian which i do have and i would like to uh, adventure for that day now adventure according to um andre is what you do every day to earn exp that you use to level up so he said inspired by loot but with a different core mechanic approach anyone can create a summoner which is you know creating a character now there are no limits so you can create as much as possible it doesn't cost anything other than gas so all you have to do to create the summoner is to pay gas fee and then once per day a summoner can adventure any 250 exp so once you take your summoner your card on an adventure for that particular day that's every day they earn 250 exp 250 experience so to move on from level one which is the base level to level two you need 1000 exp meaning you need to adventure for four days to move on from level two to level three you need 3000 exp so that is how it is that's i'm currently on level two so i don't know what happens by level three but you know he said it gets more fun as you go higher so if i'm using this ui and i have created my characters the next thing i would love to do is to come over here and click on adventure now once i click on adventure i would um you know confirm the transaction a pop-up will show i'll confirm the transaction and once it is confirmed i have adventured for that particular character alone this particular summoner only my barbarian for today i'll have to do the same for my bard for my cleric for druid fighter monk and every other character i summon i told you i summoned one of each character so you can see them here so once i do that then i have gained 250 exp for each of the characters i adventure per day so once i have successfully gained 250 exp for you know four days then i have 1000 exp then i can level up so you see the level up you know to show but at this point i can't level up yet because now i have i'm level two i don't have any experience i don't have enough experience to get me to level three so i'll have to keep playing the game so now moving on from here so let's say i you know do the same thing for my bard adventure for my bard click on adventure i confirm the pop-up transaction and i adventure for the day ending me 250 exp so that's how easy it is to use this interface now when it gets to the dungeon part dungeons is what you can do when you get to level two so from level two once you get to level two you can go to the dungeon currently we only have one option which is the seller so once you click on dungeons or once you are you know in the dungeon it automatically goes to the seller which is the only one currently available and you can scout now once you click on scouts scouting is you trying to find out if there's anything in the forest so that 
if your player actually explores that forest sorry okay i think you went back yeah so that if your player actually explores the forest you would earn those rewards that are there so if i come over here and click on scouts and i see that you look inside the cellar but all you can see is an empty box so because this cellar is empty there is no point exploring because i mean it's empty i might choose to still explore and press explore and confirm the transaction but it's basically just a waste of gas so once i'm done exploring nothing will come out of it because it's empty same thing applies for here if i scout and i look inside the cellar but all i can see is an empty box there is no point exploring because there's nothing to claim and i look inside every empty box so as you can see here i have claimed these ones i've scouted here and explored and i've gotten what was inside same thing applies for you know every other one that looks like i have claimed what is inside as well so this can only be done when you get to level two take note so you can't do this yet till you get to level two and then the next thing is daycare now daycare is how you automate your daily adventure many people might wonder okay what's the point of coming to play this thing every single day is there a way to automate it yes so let's say i want to automate i've done that for my barbarian <laughs> i did it by mistake so let's say i want to automate the daily adventure of my card let's say i don't want to come every day to press adventure i want it to automatically execute by itself so i can come to a character let's say my bard enter how many days i want it to automatically work for let's say i would like it to automate 30 days for me and then i click register now but to do this to register your card for each day you would pay 0.1 ftm so meaning that if i would like to register a card for a 30 day period for it to automatically adventure for me even though i'm not online for the 30 day period i would pay 3 ftm because per day you pay 0.1 so that's i think about 3 or 3 or 0 ftm 3.3 thereabouts so you just pay that amount of ftm per card and if you would like to you know automate as, as many cards as possible let's say you want to mint 1000 you want to summon 1000 cards and you would like to automate every single thing you just pay to play now i said i did some by mistake because i didn't have enough i don't currently have enough ftm on this wallet to automate every card and so there's really no point automating one character if i'm still going to come and manually play the rest but you know there goes my ftm so moving on so that is the daycare so you can automatically summon sorry you can automatically adventure your characters once you pay the ftm fee you enter the amount let's say you want to do everything for 30 days you just come here and do 30 days and they just let you know what it's going to cost you so 30 days register you see the um ftm you are going to pay for all your characters and you decide whether or not you want to do that and if you want to you just automatically register those characters so now moving on from here we now go on to stats now stats is basically just the statistics of you know players that are currently playing how many cards have been summoned oh sorry now stats is what contains my attributes on this particular website now stats for stats is where i can see my character attributes so these attributes many people have asked me okay how do you know what to feel how do you know um how to share your points there was an excel spreadsheet that was shared on the discord server i would also make the discord server link available in the description now this excel spreadsheet contains a detailed information on how you know your character the ability describing point allocation basically just a recommendation as it were so that was where i got my figures and i just put them there so for bad for example the recommended figures are 8 14 10 15 so i just came over to my game went to my bad sorry yeah bad so i just entered the same thing 8 14 10 15 and just filled it like that so i would also make the link to the excel spreadsheet available so you can know how to do the allocation of your character points as you see fit just you know put them there and it will just help you to easily allocate those attributes now you must allocate attributes before you go on your um what do they call it you must allocate attributes before you go to the dungeon i don't know why andre said that but i think that's the only way you can claim what would be in the dungeon when you explore 
So allocate the attributes based on what's on the spreadsheets and you're good to go. For my barbarian, I already made the mistake of allocating attributes by myself and that's why I have, you know, 14 strength, 14 dexterity and all of that. And once you assign these points, there's no going back. It's permanent. So any point you assign is permanent. You cannot reduce it. You cannot make any adjustments. It's just going to be like that. So you need to be very careful before assigning points and confirming that transaction. So you know that once you confirm the transaction, there's no going back. Now that is that about this particular um, UI, rarity.game. Let me just take you through the next one, which is rarity-adventures.search.sh. Now this one was the first, actually the first UI to be created. And it's very easy to use this. Once I connect my wallet, I can just summon any player. I click on Barbarian to summon. I get the pop-up to confirm the transaction. And I can confirm. I click on Bard to summon a Bard. I can confirm. And you can just, you know, summon all characters easily using this after connecting your wallet. Now, let's say I want to view my own characters that I have already summoned that are connected to my wallet. So, I get my character ID. Let me just try and get that from here. Yeah. I get my character ID. I paste it here. I submit. And here, I can see the attributes and the information about my character. So, this is, um, this is a bard currently in level 2. No XP at the moment. I've been able to claim 1000 gold. Now you, you get gold as you level up. So because I moved from level 1 to level 2, I got 1000 gold per character. So for every character, I have 1000 gold allocated to each card, which you can claim and just have, you know, there. It's not withdrawable. So in case you're asking, and you know, they are letting me know that the XP required to level up to level 3 is 3,000, of which I have 0 currently. And, you know, I can just see this. So, this is just the interface. Everything is here. After summoning and getting here, I can, you know, enter my ID, search, see my card. I can decide to even give my, my character a name. You know, I've not given mine a name yet because I still don't know what name to use. <laughs> so, I just left it like that. And you can also adventure directly from here. But um, it's easier for me. So what I do is I use every UI interchangeably. I use them all at once. For example, what I use this particular UI for is when I want to claim. I use this UI to claim. So when I get gold, it's faster to claim on this particular interface. I don't know why it works that way for me, but I just use here to claim my rewards. I use this particular UI for leveling up. So when I go to adventures... Sorry, I used to adventure. So when I go to adventure, it's just fast. So I just come here, click adventure, approve, click adventure, approve, click adventure, approve. So it's faster compared to having to input all my IDs here one by one before coming to the bottom to click on this adventure button. So that's what I, I basically use this UI for. I don't know, you can just pick what you prefer, the one you love, and just stick with it. And then for this particular UI, which is one of the finest we have so far. So you enter using the button and this is what shows up. So you can't really do much here. I think the only two things I've been able to do here is to level up and to adventure. You can't summon here. Okay, you can. Yeah, you come over to the bottom here. You click on recruit. Click on what you would like to recruit. And you confirm the transaction, still, you know, still okay. And automatically you get to recruit these guys. You summon them. Now, let's say you would like to um, level up. Now, I can't level up yet. It will be ready for this particular card. It will be ready in three hours. For this one, four hours. For the rest, you know, four hours. So, if it's ready, I would see here adventure. So, I could just click on that and adventure. And gain 250 exp for the day so like i said you get 250 experience every 24 hours so if today i play my game around 4 pm then i cannot adventure till tomorrow around 4 pm now let's say today you play a game around 4 pm and then tomorrow you play a game around 7 pm next tomorrow you would have to also play a game around 7 pm so it's a 24 hour 
um, time frame. You just have to stick to it, which is why you have to play every day so you just don't keep extending your time forward. So that's what I use this UI for. Whenever I want to level up as well, I just come over here. I don't really use this particular one that much, but you just find out what works for you and you know the one that is faster. And then this last one, yeah, this is I think this is the one that has the best graphics so far. So this is raritymanifested.com, and they're able to get the domain awesome raritymanifested.com. And so once you come over to raritymanifested.com you connect your wallet at the top and you are able to see your characters so if i see all these these are all my characters if i come over to the first one and i click on profile i can be able to see my character its features and you know everything that the character has let me just um, refresh that okay profile okay i hope this is working i don't know why it's not coming on now all right, perfect here. Yeah. So I can come over here, see my character, and you know, so here I see my core attributes which I have allocated. This is a barbarian, barbarian, and I can see the core attributes which I have allocated. I cannot, I don't have available points to spend. So if you've not allocated yours, if you come here, you would see a plus and a minus sign. So you can either add or subtract from your points available to allocate. I have already used mine, and like I said, it's permanent, so I can't take it back so once you allocate your core attributes which i would make this document available to you so you can just copy and paste or you know pick whatever points you you feel comfortable with and then you just give your character this core attributes so this is barbarian this is my class barbarian and i'm currently level two so my next adventure is in three hours so when my next adventure time is complete and I click on start adventure, I automatically just adventure. Same thing applies. So I go to the next card, you know, check my attributes, adventure, and like that, like that. So looking at all these um, UIs, all these interfaces that are currently available, for those that want to just do this as fast, this would really help. In fact, I think this was one, I found this yesterday and I've been using it quite a lot. I just automatically come here adventure 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 so i don't spend so much time here and these guys have been able to implement the dungeon future not everybody has that dungeon future yet even though these uis will still come with um, updates as well so they will still uh, update it frequently so i like that i like the fact that it has it it doesn't have the best graphics but i mean it works you know and then this one as well also good you know this is also good because this also has the dungeon future even though it's not as fine so you come over to dungeons you can just see scouted reward so scouted reward i can see that it's zero meaning i don't have to press scout like i did here by you know coming here to scout and see if there's something so this already lets me know that okay scouted reward there's nothing here and there's no point but if i would like to still you know go i can still go to the dungeon and that depends on me so if i see that the dungeon is empty and i still want to go an adventure no problem i press go and i approve that transaction and that is basically it so like i said i use all these uis interchangeably now what do i do how do i use them i use this when i really want to see the beauty of what is possible you know what is, what is possible what they can do with this game i use this one to quickly level up I use this one for to check my attributes you know in one page where i can see everything i have i can see my gold i can see my xp i can see my level i can see my class i can see my attributes in just one page this doesn't give you that option this doesn't give you that option and oh awesome now i click on it i can see my attributes wow that's new we have this before so this is good so now i if i click on my character here so once i come over here and click on any of my cards i can see their attributes wow this is great this is great your hero's attribute has been set a hero receives one additional point every follows beautiful you know but i would still stick with this because here i can see my gold i mean every other ui they're not showing me my gold i don't know why so here i can see my gold here i can't see my gold yeah 
they are working on the inventory so it's coming soon and so i use this with this most times to just know exactly my words as a gamer and to know exactly what i'm doing so that is basically um a run through of the uis that are currently available that i am aware of I, there could be more you know depending now just to finish up there's a discord server where you can ask questions get insights you know gain knowledge we have over 1000 almost 2000 members on the, on the server if i'm not mistaken i think we over 2000 members and so you can just join and um fill among ask questions send screenshots ask for help if there's anything you need clarification on well we'll be there to answer your questions i could always answer your questions if i'm available at the moment so this is someone asking this just changes to you know people just ask questions i mean all of us are trying to understand the game basically i myself i'm also a gamer so as i understand and learn i also make videos available so people can learn to so i'll post this spreadsheet so you can go through it to get attribute allocation that's recommended attribute allocation you don't necessarily have to use it i would also post the links to each of these user interfaces so you can interact without having to use the code base which is complex for most people and then you can always follow up on um andre's latest medium post i try as much as possible to read every single one daily so that i get more familiar with what is coming what is available and i see how i can you know better understand it so i can properly guide new users to know how to use the interface and how to play the game and yeah i think that's about it um i don't think i have any other thing to say so please if you have any other questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you need me to do another video if you would like me to review a future anything at all just let me know and finally if you would if you are using your mobile device yes you can use your mobile device to play this game using this user interface for many people that tried using the contract on ftm scan it doesn't really go well with all mobile devices it didn't work for mine but using the user interface it works perfectly for mine through metamask so you download metamask you go to browser connect your wallet and you can play using your phone so you don't always have to be on your computer to play the game so that is basically it feel free to ask your questions in the comment section if you have any questions thank you so much for watching and do have an awesome time and please <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and like this video Bye-bye.